Steinich channel. And if you've never seen me play before, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. I gotta edit the scene. This will only take a second. I gotta get my brain waves up there. The brain waves are supposed to appear right up here. Let me see if they're going to appear. Come on, come on, come on, come on. My crazy uh, assistant producer is not here tonight. His name is Paul. And when Paul's not here, it sometimes takes a few more seconds to get things working. But I don't know if he's worth his salary or not because I can usually get everything working. Um, just takes me about 15 seconds longer. There we go. Okay, so we got the brainwaves up there. Let's go ahead and see these. Um, where are the brainwaves? Come on. Mind monitor. There they are. Okay, we're uh, we're alive. We got the brainwaves up there. We're going to play some mean chess. I got the sound right here. Everything's working. I can see my microphone working. I don't know why this cell phone does this kind of stuff and I have to cancel it. Why, 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 whatever kind of name that is. They want me to share something and they don't want to share anything right now. Okay, so save it. Okay, we got it. We have got it. Um, we're all ready to play. We got the brain waves, as you can see, right up there. Those are my alpha, beta, delta, gamma, all the different brain waves you can imagine. There's four of them. And I wish we had a few more. I wish we had a few more viewers, but we got enough, I guess. Um, wait a second, wait a second. Um, let me get this work in here. Oh wow! One more, one more adjustment. I just gotta do one more adjustment here, and we'll have everything right. Let me see here. Everything's gonna be perfect here in one second. Right. Let me see. Wait a second. Okay, I'm gonna push this down. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Everything is fine. One final adjustment, and we are good to go. Okay, so let's do it, shall we? Let's play a game. Um, going to go back here now to the get a new opponent. Okay, we are on Lee Chess, and I'm going to do a King's Gambit. King's Gambit coming up, and it looks good. You know, I could just do something and... Just, I don't know, freak him out a little bit. Um, can bolt, bolster that a little bit more. i got to figure out where I'm going to put this. Going to bolster that center a little bit more because if he takes this knight, I was going to lose a pawn over there. Um, I'm going to already bring this bishop out pinning the knight. That Usually the knight pin... If I bring the bishop to here, you just bring his pawn up here and doesn't really do anything too too strong against him. You know, a bishop against two white pawns doesn't really have like a lot of power. Okay, now that's interesting. Um Maybe I'll just call his bluff. If he wants to take my queen, I retake with my pawn, and I have an open rook file and more pawns in the center. Won't be bad at all for me. And I was thinking he might do that. I was planning to take with the rook. There's nothing that can attack or besiege or threaten or jeopardize that rook. He's still got his his queen out there kind of wavering. Okay, that was good. I'm usually kind of slow in the opening, but in that case, not so slow at all. 
just attacking his knight and see if he loses it. Um, wait a second. Uh, he's going to lose it, maybe. I'm just going to move up here. What can he do? He might have um, lost a knight there early in the game. Because most of these black squares, the, the, the knight is on white. He's got to move to black. And I got, like, all the black squares here covered everything. These pawns do a magnificent job here. And this black square was already attacked twice. And this he's got his pawn here. So I'll just take him. And he probably should take with this pawn so he can drive this bishop back out. I'm just going to keep screwing him up. Hopefully try to win on time here. Oh, that was not so good. I should have seen that better and not allowed him to just attack me like that. Okay, so now I don't want to get my bishops lined up here with a rook. No way. This bishop is okay because he's protected by this rook here. There's nothing he can do to make the rook move, so this bishop should be safe unless I'm miscalculating somehow. That happens to. Um, I'm going to come up here. Just uh, kind of playing the clock. We got 3 minutes and 17 against 3.01. And I came up here so I can move up here and threaten that. And if he comes back. Oh, wow. But I didn't see that. And then the rook falls. Ah, well, I had. Uh, I was doing good. And then I screwed up. I don't know. I'm just going to take with that. Maybe just win some pawns here. And. Going to the end game with, you know, I traded a piece for two pawns. That's not too bad. Three pawns. I traded a piece for three pawns. We're going to take off the glasses because we're already into the middle game now. Um, we're going to see what happens. This is an interesting game. Anyway, everything's going good, and I got 918 followers. I thought he would do that. I'm going to bring this. I'm going to take him. And then I can bring that bishop back to here. And I think I'll have like a strong, really, really strong game. Okay, I'm going to have to turn on some Canela here really soon. But right now I'm just doing this. Um, really kind of screws me up when I have to do Canela in the middle of a game. But what can we do? Um... The knight is coming up. I can't really stop the knight from coming up. Yeah, I can. I'm going to bring him up into here. He can keep coming up with the knight if he wants to, but I'm going to then bring my my pawn up into here. And I'm still winning on time, which is good. Yeah. going to bring that pawn up. I just don't want to lose. That's all. I got a weak battery here, apparently. Hopefully I'll be able to w play through this game and then I'll connect it to the charger. So a minute and 17 against 205. Okay. Wish I could put him in check, but I can't. 
I don't know, I can't see what to do, so I'm just doing that. Like, I'm just playing on time. I couldn't see what to do, so I decided to do that. Make his knight move, I guess. The king should be pretty safe there. And I can check him. Um, Got to make his knight move. If I make his knight move, I have some interesting checking possibilities here. I, I want to bring this bishop over to here. I can take his knight. He can win my rook, but he'll have to sacrifice his rook. Okay, well, that was not bad. That was pretty good. Look at the brain wave. Oh, no. I had like a little... Can you believe it? I had like a little problem there. Okay, I'll be right back. I got to go do the thing called the canela right now. I'll be right back. This canela only takes about like I don't know, 30 seconds or so. I'll leave my microphone on. I guess you can still hear me talking. Um, I gotta go push a button. Push the button on the canela. This canela machine. Yeah, push it. And push it again. Yeah. Canelo's all ready to... It's coming out now. Canelo's going up into the air. Okay, so... What should we do? Right, Be right back, I guess. Okay, so now we're going to be back to gameplay. So... Why don't we do the post-mortem on that game, shall we? That was an interesting game. So that was actually a pretty good game played. I didn't have, like, any huge uh, blunders, I don't think. But let's let's take a look at the analysis board. Oh, and did I, if I have to remind you, um, why is it connecting? Um... Just jump right in there on the chat. I'm going to reconnect this thing. Wait a second. Oh, wait. That's a reminder to me. Let me see how many, much battery I have here on this thing. I might be like really, really low on battery. Let me see here. Is anybody see the battery? Here it is. Battery. Ah, 20%. That's... I don't know, that'll last a little bit. Hold on a second, I'll be right back. I'm going to get 20, this this cell phone, 20% will be gone in like 30 minutes. It's an old cell phone. Let me get yeah. So I got the charger thing now, plug it in. Okay, so we're back. You know, this is the only thing, like I told you, my assistant producer, Paul, is on a strike because of the Hollywood situation. And I was saying that I can get along good without him, but this is the kind of stuff that Paul really should be doing. I'm going to unplug my keyboard because I don't have enough things here to charge. Where's my keyboard? Okay. That's connected to my keyboard and it goes. I'm not using my keyboard right now. Okay, so unplug that and plug in my cell phone. 
Let me see if it's working now. Um, it's supposed to be working, right? It should be giving me energy. Let me see. Let me just make sure that it's charging. It didn't go like it went doo doo, and then it didn't go doo doo. Approximately. Okay, so I, let me see if I unplug this. What happens? It doesn't change. I don't know why. Mono. Let's the battery. Okay, so approximately six hours still remaining. Well, that's enough. Hmm. I don't believe this thing though. I'm gonna plug it in. Um. This will only take a second. Hold on, just one second because. I got a thing in the other room that I'll plug it directly. I don't know why it's not working right there. Let me get a charger. Okay, so now I got one thing to charge it directly into the this is going to charge it directly. Okay. That thing is from Brazil. So when things are from Brazil, you have to have like a really special connector. I don't know why this thing was not working on that. So I'm going to go over here and plug it in now to this thing. Okay. Is it working? This is supposed to be working now. Wait a second. Stick it in there. Everything is working. Ah, oh, man. 19%. When I take it out, does it change anything? Approximately six hours. I don't know. I'm just going to trust it. This is kind of crazy. A little bit ridiculous, I know, but why it's, why it's not working. Let me see if one of these things will work. If this, if this will go in there. This is an old cell phone, so it has to go in the right way. If you turn it upside down, it doesn't work. Nineteen percent, it still doesn't work. I don't know. Maybe this cell phone is just completely gone. Apparently, this cell phone just doesn't work anymore. This is the last. This cell phone's on its last legs. But this is the only cell phone I have my James Clatterback mind monitor installed in. If I lose this, I'll have to pay for it again, I guess. I don't know. I talked to him once and he said, well, you can get it from your account, but I really don't know how to get it from my account. Okay, we're down to 18%. Let's just play some games and I'll play... We'll finish some games before it goes to zero. Okay, so just connecting the muse. I'm going to I I'm turning off my muse because it's connecting. I don't know why it takes so long to connect. Can you even see this? Right, if I have it on here, yeah. Okay, so let me see. I'm going to turn this off. Turn it back on. This is so weird. It's like the one thing about the Muse, it doesn't have a button or anything that lets you know when it's on. You have to like use a mirror to look underneath. Okay, so now it's on. I know that it's on right now, and we'll see if it connects. 
you know, these people always have excuses. And if I call them on the phone and say, why isn't my muse working? Okay, I'm going to edit the scene. I don't understand why my camera is not working now. Like I used to have my assistant producer here, Paul. My assistant producer, when he was here, he did an excellent job. But he's on strike now. Okay, so we're connecting. Everything's working except the Muse. And I'm using a mirror here, and I can see that the Muse is on. Why it's not connecting, I have no idea. Let me turn the Muse off. The mind monitor off and turn it back on again. Guess that's all I can do. I'm gonna switch that out. Now I'm gonna go back to Play Store. Mind monitor. Mind monitor claim James Clatterback. Open it. And it should reconnect. Okay, so we got the brain waves. Yeah. Look at that. And they are high and they are good. They are alpha, beta, theta, delta, gamma. Uh, they're all up there. So we're doing good. Okay, so let's do the recap on that game. Um how many viewers? 976. That's pretty good. They're all zoned out, though. You know how my viewers are. I've, talked, I've told you about that before, where my viewers are constantly zoned out just watching the brainwaves. They don't chat. So feel free to jump in there in the chat when you feel like it. Okay, I'm going to get everything here. Where we can see it. Okay, now we got the game basically on there. You see, you see the white, the white here down here on the graph is me. I was playing white, and it was actually pretty good. We were basically white the whole game. So let's just take a look at this game. This is a pretty interesting game. And okay, I'm I'm just maneuvering it so you can see the graph and the gate board at the same time okay so that's pretty good um now let's click through it this was a king's gambit and it's interesting it's showing us different moves it's showing us the move i should have made according to it and the move i did make is blue and i don't mind making that move and it made me a little bit Lower on the graph, I guess. That says I'm minus 0 0.02. But that's the King's Gambit, and I think it's a strong game. He brought the bishop over to there. You can see this line right here. That's that's the line that's... Now that was... See, that's the only time where he dipped down into the... You know, the graph got a little bit black. Right there, you can see it dipped down, but... Because I wasn't too sure about that, but, you know, it's just kind of like an interesting opening. And now we're white up above. Everything's going to be good now from here on out. We're going to get more and more solid. And I took there, and we're still we're going up, you see, going up the slope. Still going up. Still going up. Well, we're way up when he went there. They're saying that that was not a good move. And you see, I remember during the game, I said, oh, I should not have gone there. And you can see how I dipped down there. And I came back. But we're still doing very, very well with the white. And we came up there. Everything's fine. Oh! I did. I guess I made the wrong move there. 
It's saying I should have taken. Oh, that would have been great. I don't know why I didn't do that. Look at that. So he took there with the bishop. I should have taken this one. I would have won a pawn and had the two rooks and would have won the game so much faster. But that was a good game. Um, that was all right, actually. We'll play. We'll play one more. Let's let me get the. I'm gonna play one more before I go to bed. Um, go back here. Put it on play. And there you see him. I'm gonna play this five plus zero. Oh wait, I just heard the pizza guy at the door. I'm gonna be right back because I gotta go get the pizza. It's hard to play without energy. I gotta get the pizza for energy. I'm going to wear my microphone to the door so you guys can I don't have to lose my interaction with you guys. Open the door. Oh, hey, how are you doing? Yeah. Yeah, that's great. I love to have the pizza. How much is it? 25? Okay. Okay, here's here's 26. And go ahead and keep the change on that. Um, oh, and here's an extra 50, okay? $50, yeah, of course. But don't worry about it. You know, I'm a Twitch streamer. I got more where that comes from. I'm, uh, in fact, I'm streaming right now. Okay, yeah, see you next week for sure. Okay, talk to you later. Okay, I'm going to go back in there. I got this pizza. Go back in here and... And start the game again. Trying to get the game to come back up. I don't know why it's not appearing. But anyway, it's kind of cool to tip the pizza drivers a lot like I do. They're always really appreciative about it and doesn't really bother me to give him some extra money. I guess it's this one. Okay, I'm going to click here and see. Oh, okay. Now we got the game back. So let's go ahead and, and play another one, shall we? So where is it? Um, not that. I gotta go to over to here. Click five plus zero. We got the we got the brain waves working. Okay, let's do let's do what would they, what they call a Carol can. I don't know a lot of openings, but I do know this one like halfway decently. It's just kind of intuitive, I guess. I don't really. Don't really think about it too much. A lot of times they bring that pawn up too. I'm going to go over here. Oh, he went over there. I've got to get my rook out. A lot of times I bring my bishop back and then my queen up here. And kind of like almost prepare for a checkmate and Now that's interesting. Hmm. I could move him up. And I know he's going to come over here. And if he comes over here. Hmm. I'm going to move him up. I'm going to just make him move and then bring my rook up. When he comes up into here, I'll move my rook up into here and threaten it to take his knight with my bishop and then his pawn. I'll win a pawn. He might just go back. He didn't go back, but maybe he'll bring his bishop up over into here. 
If he brings his bishop up into here. No, he can't do that. I'll just take his bishop. Oh, this is actually pretty good. I'm just going to do the exchange here and win a pawn. He thinks that I'm not going to do this, but I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do this, and then let's see what happens. I don't know. He has an excellent move right now. If he sees it, I'll tell you what it is. If he misses it, okay, he missed it. Because now I can take his knight kind of like free. Because you see I have this checkmate planned. His knight was the the key. And I'll win a piece. I have three pieces against... One? This is weird. No. Yeah, I have one p three pieces against one. I'll just go ahead and take that and then I got three pieces and he's got one? No, because I see. Because I he I'm missing uh if I keep forgetting it, I'm missing a rook. Hmm. I'm gonna develop a rook over here. I got two knights. Okay, I gotta figure out what to do now. I guess I can win a pawn right there. That was pretty good. Can't complain about that. Okay, now let's see if I can. Oh, I see a great move right here. Boom. If I come here, I win a pawn. I don't know if he's going to see that or not. Yeah, he did. Um, I could have brought my thing up here too, but I'm thinking, why not bring two knights up here? They look kind of strong. I don't know. They kind of like block. The knights are good blockers when you got when he's only got two rooks and I got two knights protected by a pawn. Now if he attacks this this rook I'll just bring him over here, he'll be protected by the king. And then I'm gonna have these two knights out here in the center. I really don't know what I'm doing here, but I attacked this pawn twice. Maybe he'll freak him out. And this knight is attacking this, so his, his rook can't move. Oh, I can come up here. Okay, I'm going to bring him over because I, I don't want to worry about this rook. The rook and the king are in a safe position. I can come up here now, check, and win one of these rooks. See? Then I will be check then i'll be um quite a bit more ahead oh what i didn't see that i honestly didn't see that the queen was way over there and i didn't pay enough attention i can still win this game obviously um just a matter of Playing well. I don't know what he's going to do with that pawn. I'm just kind of faking him out right now. I got to bring this knight back into the situation here because. Did I just lose a game? Yeah, that's checkmate. He can come down here, check me, and and then check me again with this. Oh, you didn't see it. 
Um, got to come over here. I don't have anything else to do. Just, just screwing. I'm just completely losing this game. I don't know. You know, I got a checkmate now, but uh, you'll see. Maybe I'll have a perpetual check or something. It would be great if I did. Oh, I wish I could do that, but I can't. I can't bring my rook over here. I think I got a perpetual check here. I just bring my queen. He can't interpose anything, and our queen and, and king are just going to typewriter across. I still have a perpetual check, but no, I, I screwed up. Should not have done that. If he had a little less time, it would have worked, but... It would have worked fine. But maybe I do, maybe I can still win this. It's amazing game. <laughs> this is amazing, he's got eight seconds. I think I'm going to win this game because he just doesn't have enough time. Oh, I could have won his rook right there, but I didn't even see it. No, I can win his rook. Well, I don't know. That was a kind of a sloppy end game and everything, but nothing succeeds like success, right? Um, did win the game. That was okay. <sighs> wow, that was... You can see the brain waves were really jumping all over. Let's look at the analysis board before we go to a... Request a computer analysis before we go to another game because... Oh, look. See, Black was winning there at the end. This is These jumps here are when I, I didn't see the Rook. So black was winning here. The opening was kind of edgy. White was getting some small advantages, and then black got like a huge advantage. That was just up and down. A pretty, how would I say, uh, inconsistent game. So I don't think it's worth doing the postmortem because it just wasn't strong for either side. Just kind of, I just got lucky there at the end because of the time. So let's go ahead and play one more. And then I'll go to bed. Oh, wait, I think it's the Taco Bell. I ordered the pizza and the Taco Bell. Hold on just a second. I'll be right back. Let me go to the door. I'll leave, I'll leave my microphone on as I walk over there. Let's see what he says. It's kind of interesting to get these these pizzas. My door is pretty far away from where I play chess. Oh, hi. Oh, Taco Bell? Yeah. How much is it? 32. Wow, yeah, I got a couple of those super specials, right? 
so here's a 50 you can keep the change oh and by the way here's another 50 keep the change on that too yeah yeah don't worry about it. I'm a twitch streamer I got plenty more where that comes from but anyway we'll see you around see you next week maybe I'll order some more Taco Bell stuff okay I'm gonna go back and play okay see you around bye bye Okay, so we're back. Yeah, I just had to go and get some Taco Bell stuff. So that was a pretty good game, like I say. Um, we did win it. So, but the main thing is we got some good brainwave brainwave data. The brainwave data is is the is the only thing we're really doing. Sometimes I lose, and that's good too because we get some excellent brainwave data when I lose. It's more honest. When you're winning, it can the brain waves can do anything they want, but when you lose, uh, the brain waves don't lie. They say exactly what you're feeling. This is the King's Gambit, so if he wants to take that pawn, he can. It's no big deal. When I move that pawn out, you see what happens. Um, I'm going to take this pawn, and then take this pawn, and then see what happens here. Okay, now if I come over here, this is probably the right move. Because if I move this pawn up, I lose my rook. I'm going to come over here. And then I'm going to put him in check. We'll see what happens here. He's got his queen in the, in the exact right position. Can you believe that? Okay, so we got 437 against 414. He actually used less time on the clock than I did. I think I played that opening pretty edgy I didn't I, you know I wasn't didn't have enough time to see that his queen was on that diagonal I was just thinking my queen here I'm gonna bring the the knight back and then I can come up here and see with a good check if he doesn't see it okay I'm gonna check that That's a pretty decent check, because and then this pawn is weak. And my king looks strong right now. I mean, if he comes down and takes this pawn, I'll move my knight out, because then my rook will defend my bishop. I'm going to do this, and then he'll attack me with his rook, and I'll take the pawn here. Does he have enough pieces? I'm just going to take. I don't know why he decided to. I know he expects me to do something, but I can't castle. <laughs> just going to come up and attack this pawn. It looks pretty weak and pretty good. And then. After that, I can come over here. Now, I just kind of know from experience, I'm going to have to bring my, my king to here. It's like, there's no other choice. He doesn't have a white bishop to work on this diagonal, so... So that's good. And I can position a knight right here. It looks really strong. 
because he can attack me with a knight, but he can't attack me with his rooks because of this pawn, and he can't attack me with his bishop because it's on black. So his knight is sitting here pretty, pretty good. I might just move this knight out next move. If he takes me, I'll take him with my pawn here. And I have another pawn in the center, and I think oh, he's going to win a pawn there. He's going to win this pawn. If he's not careful, though, I'll win his bishop. Oh, wait, he doesn't win the pawn. Uh huh. I gotta do this. I don't want him to take that. I probably should have had that planned out and done that faster because he would have lost the bishop if I moved a little bit faster, maybe. He should take that bishop and then I come here. Now we're down to 10%. I gotta protect this pawn. Uh, he's gonna come up here and check me, but you know what? My king is already coming up into the end into the end game now. really don't know what I'm doing here, but I'm starting to win on time. And the pieces look about even. He might be one pawn ahead. Yeah, he is. He's one pawn ahead. But positional-wise, I think I'm looking a little bit stronger than him if I don't screw up big time here. Our battery is at 10% and I can't charge it. You, those of you who were following me earlier showed, you know, this, this phone is not charging. It's a really old phone. It's a phone like 10 years old. If you want to jump in on the chat, go right ahead because nobody's chatting right now. Look at that. I got twice as much time as he does now, so. That was really good. If he checks me here with his knight, I'll just bring my king up here. And the king next to the knight like this is, is unassailable. I'm just going to take this because he takes there and then I get. And then he comes there. And now what? Um. Coming back here so they block this knight out from coming into this square. He can come over this square though. I'm just going to try to play on time here because I think the king is going to be safe here. He, he can check me again, but I think I can go back. He's coming up to attack my knight, but my knight can jump out. He's got 40 minutes, I mean 40 seconds. As long as I don't get checkmated here, I think I will make it. This looks like a good position for my king because it can't be attacked by either knight. Or here, right? 
He cannot be attacked by this knight, but I've got a minute. I think I'm doing really strong. I'm going to bring my king over here because my king could be necessary for these two pawns. Protect my pawn and protect against this pawn moving up. He might just go ahead and check me or something, I don't know. I have no idea, I'm not circumspect enough to know if he's going to just checkmate me right now, but he's got four seconds left. I really don't know what's going to happen. All right, look at those brain waves. You see how they jumped up right there? Boom, they went right up, um, all of them. It's kind of really interesting to see uh, brain waves um, correlated with playing chess. And I wish I had more battery time, but. My phone, my phone is is going to be dead like in about 10 minutes. Should we play one more though, and or let's just do the analysis board. I don't think we're going to play one more because we only got a few minutes left, and I'm going to request the computer analysis. Why isn't anybody chatting tonight? Give me a break. I got to have at least one chatter. If I don't have one chatter, it's like I completely lose. The night, in a sense, completely lose the night because you got to have time, you got to have some winds, you got to have some brain waves, and you have to have a chatter. But okay, so this was a pretty interesting game. It was nobody had like a lot of advantages. The biggest advantages was right here minus two for black, and then it was just even, 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 even. But I went on time, so. Let's take a look at that. That could be an interesting uh, illustrative game. It might illustrate some opening principles or something. Okay, Lee Chess is a very user-friendly game, but it's not very user-friendly for Twitch because I've tried in umpteen different ways. Umpteen is a word that means more than you can count, basically. And I cannot get the chessboard and the entire graph to be on the screen at the same time when I'm playing Twitch. So, But here you can see, if you look down here, you can at least see where white is ahead. And black went, I'll, I'll just move it down some. Black was never very much ahead. So you see black dips down a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to move it there so you can see how it's going. So this was pretty close. This is a, you can see when I moved, it's kind of interesting. When I moved this pawn up, it's kind of interesting, isn't it? The way that this, I'm going to go all the way back to the beginning because look, I moved that pawn up and I was already 0.2 ahead. He moved that pawn up which should be a kind of a Sicilian idea. And I was still ahead 0.3. I moved that pawn up and it dropped me. But 0, 0.0, so it's like from the beginning. It's like, okay, we're starting over. He moved that pawn up and suddenly he screwed up because I'm at the highest position I was so far in this game. I'm plus 0.4. Okay, I dropped one. The computer was saying he should have taken this, but that's fine because for me, because that's a king's gambit, which is what I'm playing. That was a really iffy move. I'm ahead almost a pawn now. No more, but there I'm still ahead by a pawn. Still ahead by a pawn. And I took him, but that was not the right move. And I'm, I'm minus.
And you remember all of this. It was like weird stuff. And he's still ahead. Black this or black. Oh, and I made a good move there. No, I didn't make a good move. That was like an iffy move. A minus 1.3. This was black's biggest advantage in the game. And here it's 0, 0. So we're starting over again. Now I'm ahead by 0 0.8. Now I'm ahead by 1.2. And from here on out, I would like to say I won a lot, but no. He's still... I don't know where I got like a head completely forever. I'm still in the ocean here, like I'm white and I'm trying to come up above, but I'm like a little bit of an ocean floor that's trying to rise above the waves. And I never did rise above the waves except I did win the game because, look at this. Look at right from this point onward, it's all, all even. Like we're exactly, basically at zero. Negative 0.1, okay, but that's really nothing. And Judge Lee Chess has times here somewhere. They didn't used to show them, but now they do. So black has 15 seconds, and I got one minute. And that's that's why I won that game because we're going into the end game, and you can see how we click it down. I'll click it down so you can see the time moving. So I click down there, 13 seconds. I click down there. He's moving fast, but so am I. I don't have to move all that fast, really, because I got a whole minute. He's only got five seconds now. And now I basically just, I just made that check to waste more time for him. He's only got four seconds. And that was the end. He took more than four seconds to make his next move. So basically, once again, I went on time. Is there no chatters out there? Give me a break. How can you be watching this and not chatting? I've got 1,294 people listening to this and you're just not chatting? What? You're just like zoned out on the brainwaves? Completely zoned out. It's impossible. Look, I'm going to... I'll be right back because I'm going to have to take a short break. But listen, I don't understand why this phone is not charging. Wait a second. Let me see here. Let me get this other thing over here. If I could get this phone charging, I could actually maybe play a little bit more tonight. My phone is almost dead. And I don't play without brainwaves because that's my channel. If I don't have brainwaves, I don't play. Let me see. Let me see if I got brainwaves. I don't want to waste time checking this either. Um, I want to see the... You know, sometimes you swipe down expecting to see the configurations. You don't see them. Oh, here they are. Okay, I got them up here. Battery. 6%. And I'm plugging this thing in. It just doesn't register in this phone. Okay, I got 6%. 
I'm gonna play a few more minutes here. I'll play. I'll be. I'll play one more game because with six percent energy, I should be able to play one more. Try one more. Why not? Okay, here we go. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the game plane. We'll play we'll play one more. We got 6% energy. And hopefully we'll be able to win this game. Okay, so here we go. Um clicking around here just trying to create a game. 5 plus 0. Okay, let's go. If we lose this game, we'll just try to go to sleep with a losing mentality. And what's that? What is he doing there? I think I got to go like this, and then then I'll bring this up. I should be okay. Now, if he takes the bishop, I just retake with a knight. Otherwise, I would have had to. Screw up my pawn position big time. Maybe that was an overreaction, but I'm gonna castle already and just try to play. I think I'm gonna bring this. I'm gonna bring this bishop up to here because you see, this bishop protects this square actually. I'm going to take that pawn. And now you see the the advantage of having the bishop here. Because if he takes a knight, I take his bishop. This knight has nowhere to go really much. I mean, he can come up here, but... I gotta take that bishop. Now he might bring this knight up to here. Hmm. Should I let the knight sit there or just move him out? I'm just gonna move him out. He can take this pawn though. I think that's what he's thinking about doing. If he does that, I'm kind of screwed up. I'm going to act like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, no. He can take this knight now. I was threatening his pawn. I, I think I, I'm going to give up. Oh, but that was my saving grace because... I got to move my king out of the way because, see, he was going to put me in a check and then. I don't know. My queen looks like she's in big danger there, so I'm just going to take her out. I think I'm losing this game completely. I. I kind of screwed up there. Screwed up really big time. Now my... I'm going to attack the knight and see what happens. Checkmate. Oh, give me a break. Okay, I'm going to play one more because we got 5% energy now. Wow, we got some great brainwave data that time. Did you see? Did you see what the waves were doing? When I lose, it's just like it's totally... The brainwaves do not lie. They do not lie at all. When I win, well, you know... 
brain waves can when you're being successful brain waves can do what they want to do but when you're really losing I don't know I just think that that's a better move I don't know I've played this game a few times I guess and kind of think I know what I'm doing but maybe not I could be screwing up completely. You can't move this one up because I'll take. I think the best thing I can do is move his queen out of there. I don't know, I would like to bring this bishop into play, but I couldn't really see what to do. I gotta bring this knight up to here and then up to here because his queen is positioned here against his pawn. He can attack my queen now with his bishop, but I can also. Move my queen back, and I think this is the place that does the most thing. It attacks this pawn, supports this pawn. And you'll see that attack, so now I can take the pawn if you're just not careful. You might bring the bishop up into here, but if I don't take the pawn now, the bishop doesn't do anything there. I'm going to call his bluff and move over there. Look at this position. It looks pretty solid. Until he moves that pawn up. Uh, what about this? Put the question to the queen, and I don't know what after that. I'm a minute ahead. This would maybe gain me a few, few more seconds of time. Brought the pawn up. I take the pawn. He takes me. I come up here. That's pinned. But he can attack. He can defend with a rook. Not sure what to do. Just going to do that. Kind of block off the position. Now, this knight has only got like one place to go. He thinks he, he's assailing my king position over there, but maybe it's unassailable. I don't know. But this is unassailable too. It's weird. Where's that pawn? Where's that thing going to go? I'm just going to move over here. If I lose here, okay, I lose, but... Gotta do that, obviously. Oh, he's gonna move a knight in here? All right. He's not gonna do anything from there. Unless I'm completely... miscalculating here. He's got these two pawns. What? Oh, no. I wasn't paying attention. I gotta resign. He took my queen. Okay, maybe we have time for one more. My phone is not charging. We're down to like 4%. Wait a second. Where's my fucking brain waves? Jesus. Oh, uh, man.
this was this was just so bad. Um, I gotta get the brain waves on here. Okay, let me see if they're on there because that was that was bad. I mean, can you believe that? We didn't have the brain waves on there. Okay, let me get that. I'm gonna edit the scene because they're not appearing. Brain waves. Okay, there they are. Why were they there? And then I move that down. It says connecting. That's so. Okay. Okay, one more game. Let's save this. And we'll play one more. Hopefully we'll have a strong game. We're already playing a game. Okay, so I'm going to move down on time a lot. Wow, I would move down two minutes. I just... I'll just move fast. It'll be okay. I don't think he's playing the right opening here because as far as I understand, this is pretty strong for me. I'm going to castle and already put some more pressure on that pawn. Take my only move. Oh, I tried to take this pawn and I screwed up. Oh man. Tried to take that pawn. He was going to castle on that side anyway. Now he castled the other side. I don't know. That was a mouse slip. That was a legitimate mouse slip. Okay, that will free me up a little bit in the center because I wanted to bring my queen over there anyway. We'll see what happens here now. This could be interesting. I'm attacking his queen and his bishop at the same time. Suppose I take his bishop. The bishop is kind of important in this kind of a configuration. I need to come over here to protect this square. He maybe thinks I'm trying to attack up here, but my idea really is to attack. But he'll just take my, my pawn if I'm not careful, so I first I protect this pawn. Now he can take this pawn, but then this is going to come down here. And then... I'm going to come over here. If he takes me, I take him. He comes down here, check. See, because this queen is protecting against this rook coming down. He decided to do that. And now I have queen against two rooks.
And I have this advanced spawn too. I'm going to get my king the heck out of Denver. I'm just going to keep moving my king out of Denver. He was hoping to get my king in a real bad position. I'm going to grab this pawn. Now he's going to go with that pawn. And I think he was going to make it too. Looks like I can checkmate him somehow. I'm going to come here and maybe put him in perpetual check or something. I don't know. Hmm. Is there anything I can do? There's no perpetual check here, is there? I'm not just screwing around with the time. I'm There's no way I can take this pawn. No, I'm going to resign. Oh, wow. We started out the night really well, and we got, like, some really bad... Wait, what the... F I don't understand why we don't have brain waves. Damn, man. I'm going to have to get my assistant producer back. No, my, it's because my phone ran out. I don't know. I couldn't get my phone to charge. I tried in every way possible. Don't have brain waves. I mean, this always charges the phone. No, no. Screwed up big time. Tonight was not really my night. Okay, well, I'm going to end the stream. Didn't have a chatter. Hopefully, next time we'll have a chatter. Um, really wanted to get a chatter, but we couldn't get one spot. I'm going to end the stream and go to bed. It's already late. So, check in next time. Okay, bye-bye.